ਬੱਚਿਓ ਇਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਕੁਐਲੈਂਸ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜੋਗੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਸਿਵ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਸਿਮੈਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਅਤੇ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਜ਼ਿਟਿਵ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਤਾਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੀ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਆਓ ਹੁਣ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੀਏ relations you should know about reflexive symmetric and transitive relations so let us start from the reflexive relations reflexive relations a relation r on a set a is said to be reflexive if every element of a is related to itself thus r is reflexive if and only if an ordered pair a a belongs to relation r for all a belongs to set a and a relation r on a set a is not reflexive if there exists an element a in set a such that ordered pair a a does not belongs to relation r for example let a b and a set consisting of elements 1 2 and 3 then relation r consisting ordered pairs 1 1 2 2 3 3 1 3 2 3 is a reflexive relation on set a but another relation s on set a consisting of ordered pairs 1 2 3 3 1 3 2 3 is not reflexive relation on set a because 2 belongs to set a but ordered pair 2 2 does not belongs to relation s now we will study about symmetric relation a relation r on a set a is said to be symmetric if an ordered pair a b belongs to relation r then ordered pair b a should also belong to relation r for all elements a b belongs to set a that is a r b implies b r a for all a b belonging to set a for example let a be a set having elements 1 2 3 and 4 and r and s be relations on a given by r is a set of ordered pairs 1 3 1 4 3 1 2 2 4 1 and s is a set of ordered pairs 1 1 2 2 3 3 1 3 2 clearly r is symmetric relation on a because ordered pair 1 3 and 1 4 belongs to relation r this implies ordered pairs 3 1 and 4 1 also belong to relation r however s is not a symmetric relation on a because ordered pair 1 3 belongs to relation s but ordered pair 3 1 does not belong to relation s transitive relations a relation r on a set a is said to be transitive if and only if an ordered pair a b belongs to relation r and ordered pair b c also belongs to relation r this implies ordered pair a c 
should also belong to relation R for all A, B and C belonging to set A that is A R B and B R C implies that A R C for all A, B and C belonging to set A. For example, let L be the set of all straight lines in a plane, then the relation R or is parallel on L is a transitive relation because for any L1, L2 and L3 belonging to set L such that line L1 is parallel to line L2 and line L2 is parallel to line L3 implies that line L1 is parallel to line L3. Now we will discuss about equivalence relations. Equivalence relations a relation R on a set A is said to be equivalence relation on A if and only if it is reflexive that is ordered pair A A belongs to relation R for all A belonging to set A it is symmetric that is ordered pair A B belongs to relation R this implies ordered pair B A also belongs to relation R for all A B belonging to set A it is transitive that is ordered pair A B belonging to relation R and ordered pair B C belonging to relation R implies that ordered pair A C belongs to relation R for all A B and C belonging to set A To understand the equivalence relations, we consider an example. Show that the relation is congruent to on the set of all triangles in a plane is an equivalence relation. Now the solution. In order to prove that this relation is an equivalence relation, we have to prove that it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Let T be the set of all triangles in a plane and R be the relation on T given by ordered pair del1, del2 belongs to relation R. It means that a triangle del1 is congruent to triangle del2. To prove the reflexivity of the relation R, we take another triangle delta which belongs to the set of triangles T. So for each triangle del belongs to T, we have del is congruent to itself implies that an ordered pair del del belongs to relation R for all del belongs to T. This implies that relation R is reflexive on set T. To prove the symmetry of the relation, let us consider two triangles del1 and del2 belonging to set of triangles T such that an ordered pair del1, del2 belongs to relation R implies that triangle del1 is congruent to second triangle del2. This implies that del2 is also congruent to triangle del1 which further implies that ordered pair del2 del1 belongs to relation R for all triangles in the set T. So R is symmetric on T. To prove the transitivity of the relation R we take del1, del2 and del3 from the set of triangles T such that ordered pair del1 del2 belongs to relation r and del2 
del 3 also belongs to relation R. This implies that triangle del 1 is congruent to triangle del 2 and triangle del 2 is congruent to triangle del 3 which further implies that triangle del 1 will also be congruent to triangle del 3 which implies ordered pair del 1 del 3 belongs to relation R for all triangles del belonging to set T. So relation R is transitive on T. Hence relation R being reflexive, symmetric and transitive is an equivalent relation on set T. हुन तक तुसी इक्विलेंस रिलेशंस बारे पढ़या है आओ हुन एस ते आधारित कुछ उदाहरणा नु हल करिए लेट अस सी एन एग्जांपल शो दैट द रिलेशन आर इन द सेट ए कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एक्स बिलोंगिंग टू द सेट ऑफ इंटीजर जेड such that x is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 12 is an equivalence relation where relation R is a set consisting of ordered pairs A, B such that modulus of A minus B is a multiple of 4 Now let us see its solution Now here as we are given set A consisting of elements x belonging to the set of integers z such that x is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 12 which implies set A is a set consisting of elements 0, 1, 2 and so on up to 12. Also, relation R is a set consisting of ordered pairs A, B such that modulus of A minus B is a multiple of 4 that is all pairs of elements of set A so that distance between them when Represented on a number line is a multiple of 4 as shown here. So, relation R is a set consisting of ordered pairs 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 8, 0, 12, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1, 9, 2, 2, 2, 6, 2, 10, 3, 3, 3, 7, 3, 11, 4, 0, 4, 4, 4, 8, 4, 12, 5, 
Now, first of all, we shall check the reflexivity of relation R. Now, because we know that ordered pair 0, 0, 1, 1 and so on up to ordered pair 12, 12 all belong to relation R. That is, we can say that ordered pair A, A belongs to the relation R for all A belonging to the set consisting of elements 0, 1, 2 and so on up to 12. Therefore, we can say that relation R is reflexive Now, for symmetricity of relation R, that is, we will prove that relation R is a symmetric relation. Now, for all ordered pairs, A, B, belonging to relation R, we have ordered pair B, A, also belongs to relation R. That is, ordered pair 1, 5 belongs to relation R and ordered pair 5, 1 also belongs to relation R. Where both A and B belongs to the set consisting of elements 0, 1, 2 and so on up to 12. Therefore, we can say that relation R is symmetric now for transitivity of relation r let ordered pair a b belongs to relation r and Ordered pair B, C also belongs to relation R. Therefore, by the given definition of relation R, we have A minus B is a multiple of 4. Also, we have B minus C is a multiple of 4. Now, as we know, A minus C is equal to A minus B plus B minus C. So this implies A minus C is also a multiple of 4. Because we know that if two integral values are a multiple of 4, their sum is also a multiple of 4. So we have A minus C 
is the multiple of 4. This implies ordered pair A, C belongs to relation R. Therefore, relation R is transitive. Because relation R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Therefore, relation R is an equivalent relation. Hence, the required result is proved. Let us see another example. Let a relation S on the set R of real numbers be defined as S is a set of all ordered pairs A, B such that 1 plus A into B is greater than 0 for all A, B belonging to set of real numbers R. Show that relation S is not an equivalence relation. Now let us see its solution. In the above example, we are given a relation S defined on the set R of real number as S is the set of all ordered pairs A, B such that 1 plus a into B is greater than 0 for all A, B belonging to the set of real numbers R. We have to show that this relation S is not an equivalence relation. Now, firstly, we shall check the reflexivity of the relation S on the set R of real numbers. Let A be an arbitrary element of the set of real numbers R. Then arbitrary element A belonging to the set R of real number implies 1 plus A into A which is equal to 1 plus A square which is greater than 0. Because A square is greater than 0 for all A belonging to the set of real numbers R. So this implies ordered pair A, A belongs to the relation S. Thus, ordered pair a, A belongs to relation S for all A belonging to the set of real numbers R. So, we can say that relation S is a reflexive relation. Now, we shall check the symmetry of relation S on the set R of real numbers. Let an ordered pair A, B belongs to the relation S. Then ordered pair A, B belonging to the relation S implies 1 plus A into B is greater than 0 for all A, B belonging to the set R of real numbers. This further implies 1 plus B into A is also greater than 0 because 
we know that a into b is equal to b into a for all a b belonging to the set of real numbers are so this implies ordered pair b a also belongs to the relation s thus ordered pair a b belonging to the relation s implies ordered pair b a also belongs to the relation s for all a b belonging to the set of real numbers are so we can say that relation s is symmetric on set r of real numbers now we shall check the transitivity of relation s on the set r of real numbers now according to the above definition of the relation s we see that ordered pair 1 1 by 2 belongs to relation s because 1 plus 1 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 3 by 2 is greater than 0 for all 1 and 1 by 2 belonging to the set of real numbers are also ordered pair 1 by 2 minus 1 belongs to relation s because 1 plus 1 by 2 into minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 is greater than 0 for all 1 by 2 minus 1 belonging to the set of real numbers are but ordered pair 1 minus 1 does not belong to relation s because 1 plus 1 into minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 which is not greater than 0 for all 1 and minus 1 belonging to the set of real numbers are so relation s is not transitive relation on the set of real numbers r now since relation s is reflexive symmetric but not transitive therefore relation s is not an equivalence relation hence the required result is proved hun tak tusi equivalence relations te adharit kuch udaharana nu hal kita hai aao hun is te adharit kuch aur udaharana nu hal kariye let us see another example prove that the relation r on the set z of all integers defined by r is the set of all ordered pairs x y belonging to the set of real numbers r if and only if x minus y is divisible by n is an equivalence relation on set of all integers z now let us see its solution here in the above example 
we are given relation r on the set z of all integers defined by r is the set of all ordered pairs x y belonging to the set of real numbers r if and only if x minus y is divisible by n we have to prove that this relation r is an equivalence relation on the set of all integers z so we have to prove that this relation r is reflexive symmetric as well as transitive now first of all we shall check the reflexivity of the relation r on the set of all integers z for any a belonging to the set of natural numbers n we have a minus a is equal to 0 which can be written as 0 into n which implies a minus a is divisible by n which implies ordered pair a a belongs to the relation r thus ordered pair a a belongs to the relation r for all a belonging to the set of integers z so we can say that relation r is reflexive on z now we shall check the symmetricity of the relation r that is we shall prove that relation r is a symmetric relation on the set of all integers z let ordered pair a b belongs to relation r so this implies a minus b is divisible by n so this implies a minus b is equal to n into p for some p belonging to the set of integers z which implies b minus a is equal to n into minus p which implies b minus a is divisible by n which implies ordered pair b a belongs to the relation r thus ordered pair a b belonging to relation r implies ordered pair b a also belongs to relation r for all a b belonging to the set of integers z so it is proved that relation r is a symmetric relation on the set of integers z now we shall check the transitivity of relation r that is we shall prove that relation r is a transitive relation 
on the set of all integer z let a b and c belongs to the set of integers z such that ordered pair a b belongs to relation r and ordered pair b c also belongs to relation r then ordered pair a c belongs to relation r implies a minus b is divisible by n which implies a minus b is equal to n into p for some p belonging to the set of integers z also ordered pair b c belonging to relation r implies b minus c is divisible by n which further implies b minus c is equal to n into q for some q belonging to the set of integer z this implies a minus b is equal to n into p and b minus c is equal to n into q which further implies a minus b plus b minus c is equal to n into p plus n into q which implies a minus b plus b minus c is equal to n whole multiplied by p plus q on solving it we get a minus c is equal to n whole multiplied by p plus q now because p belongs to the set of integers z and q belongs to the set of integers z so this implies p plus q also belongs to the set of integer z so this implies a minus c is divisible by n which implies ordered pair a c also belongs to the relation r thus ordered pair ab belongs to the relation r and ordered pair b c belongs to the relation r implies ordered pair a c also belongs to the relation r for all a b and c belonging to the set of integer z so we can say that relation r is a transitive relation on the set of integer z therefore relation r being reflexive symmetric and transitive is an equivalence relation on set of integer z hence the required result is proved in this episode you have learned about equivalence relations a relation r on a set a is said to be an equivalence relation on a if and only if it is reflexive symmetric and transitive if a relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive 
then it is equivalence relation otherwise it is not an equivalence relation a relation r is reflexive if and only if an ordered pair a a belongs to relation r for all a belonging to set a a relation r on a set a is said to be symmetric if an ordered pair a b belongs to relation r then ordered pair b a should also belong to relation r for all elements a b belonging to set a a relation r on a set a is said to be transitive if and only if an ordered pair a b belonging to relation r and ordered pair b c also belonging to relation r then ordered pair a c also belongs to relation r for all a b and c belonging to set a ਇਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਕੁਐਲੈਂਸ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜਿਆ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਉਮੀਦ ਕਰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਮਝ ਆ ਗਿਆ